Well, I mean, did. on the um, on the sort of conceptual point of how the video was was put together, maybe you could talk a little bit about the prop behind you there, Doug. Right. Yeah. The torso. Yes. Actually, this is my my mom calls this the strange torso. I mean, that dude, that dude's not doing so good. I mean. <laughs> Well, actually, this is a good segue, um, James, because uh, basically what happened is when I met with Eric, we're coming up with a concept. Um, we talked a lot about the album cover and the inside of the album and, you know, Travis Smith's, um, you know, his images that he painted and came up with for that album. Um, one of my first questions was like, you know, what does it mean? You know, what's going on? I listened to the album a couple of times trying to figure out. And that's the cool thing about those images, it kind of makes you think, right? So I kind of made that decision to incorporate a lot of Travis Smith's artwork into the video. And, and I did that for a couple reasons. First was it created the story, it helped create a story for me. And the second thing was it's something that the fans could relate to and they could watch the video and go, hey, that, that looks like that and this looks like this. And okay, I, wanted okay. some, I wanted some sort of connection, you know, something that I could use. Uh, because we didn't have a band so I was kind of like well what images can I use that would help me pull this video forward I mean did you did you find yourself sort of reading the lyrics and trying to apply yeah. some of those into the video and create... absolutely yeah yeah and there's some of that there but I mean again it, it's a, it's a video that isn't like um, it's I mean, all... if you sorry I was just gonna say it's all kind of interpretation anyway I mean each person is gonna take yes. something different from yep. the lyrics and the imagery. I mean, that torso is obviously, I figure it's um, the torso through the picture frame on the cover. Correct, yep. So, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, um, basically, um, what I did was I took the album cover and the inside and I, I looked at the artwork and I basically took all my conversations with Eric about his experience with Chuck and the band and their in their past, and I got I asked Eric a lot of questions about like I never met Chuck personally, but I said you know how did he do things? What was his personality like? What was he trying to achieve before he got sick, and before this album came out? And so I, I made a bunch of notes about basically just words like ambitious, determined, uh, angry, frustrated, excited, a hard worker. Um, and then I kind of took those words and I, I took Travis Smith's images and I was like, what kind of story can I tell with these images that, that have some of these feelings and emotions that Chuck and the band were going through? And I was able to construct a very abstract, and it is very abstract, but I could basically, when the video's done, I could actually give you a commentary and explain everything and it would make sense to me, but I don't know if it would make sense to others. So a lot of that in there would you say would you say the vision the concept the sort of delivery of the video is your idea alone or is it a group of people that have come to the sort of the how the final outcome no it was it was pretty much me but i mean i i kind of threw it at eric i sat down with him um many he, times we, we met many times for lunch and stuff and i kind of you know he told me he asked me if i would be interested in the project and i said yes and then I came back to him like a week later and I said, this is what I'm thinking. And then he said, I like it. How about this, this, and this? And then I came back a week after that and said, okay, how about this? And I kind of pitched him a concept and he kind of just was like, yes, yes, and yes. Love it. Go do it right on. Very supportive guy. So that's, um, that's kind of, no, yeah, sorry, sorry. Me, well, I was just yeah, going to say he, that's, that's kind of the way everything's been done. It's like, if Eric's cool with it, then it, it happens. Hey, I mean, so if you were throwing it all yeah, to Eric and Eric was cool, like... Yeah, yeah, and I think that he, you know, he he and many others knew Chuck really well, but I think Eric, in terms of him kind of, you know, he's he's the the hand behind the camera, so to speak, keeping death and control denied up there and still out there. And so his input, and he's doing the best he can, like I've heard him say, like he, he hopes that Chuck mm -hmm. would appreciate this. And I, I think that if he feels that he would be excited about certain things then it's it's a good thing and i actually said that to him once i'm like after explaining this concept to you eric do you think chuck would approve and he was like yeah i think he would think it's cool and i said well then we're, then we're good to go so i think he's kind of his his kind of um they have the same kind of thinking in terms of what's cool what isn't what would work well i mean one thing that isn't in doubt is that eric is you know i don't think anyone's got anything bad to say about eric eric is the guy he is the 
the man, the right guy making all the right moves. And, uh, you know, I, I would personally trust um, Eric's judgment as obviously you did. Um, so if Eric yeah. says it's cool, then I'll, I'm cool with what, <laughs> what else have it, I mean, I, obviously, I really want to see it. I'm sure loads of people really want to see it. I mean, I really want to see it too. <laughs> so, but th but this is this is another question. Like, um, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, what I would like to talk about, Doug, is if you could give us just a brief history about yourself, other videos you've done, how have you gotten to the position that you're at today? Sure. Yeah. Um. Well, let's see. Um, I went to film school in Vancouver right out of high school. So, you know, I was 17 or 18 years old and I knew I wanted to make films way before that, like when I was like 11 years old or 10 or something like that. So, I mean, film making films has always been my passion, like ever since I was a little boy. Right. So after film school, um, I actually came and lived near you. I was living <laughs> in Scotland, Scotland for about a year. Oh, OK. Glasgow, because that's kind of where my family history comes from. The, sure, sure, sure. The Cooks and the Campbells. So I lived in, in the UK for a while, and then I lived over in Ireland for about six, seven months after that. And then I came back to Canada and pursued film further, like freelancing. So I was, you know, camera operating and I was editing and I was kind of all trying to find my, trying to find, you know, what I wanted to do in the film industry. And uh, what happened was uh, my family here in Calgary, my father started a furniture store back in 1982. And it's a kind of a franchise called Ethan Allen. I don't know if you have it in the UK. I don't, maybe, maybe not. I've not it's heard a high of it. End furniture. Okay. It's a high-end furniture store that, that does interior design. And there's a there's a creative element to that. Okay, okay. And, uh, and, and a nice price tag as well, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's high-end furnishings. Um, so, I mean, I had that as well that I was passionate about because uh, my family's worked really hard for that that business and it was something that I wanted to help uh, you know bring into the next generation so being in the arts and being in film and I'm sure other photographers and musicians and painters can relate to this is that you kind of come to a conclusion that um, if you want to be that full time you're going to have to kind of you know it's going to be hard it's going to be really really hard so what I did is I decided personally that I would uh, invest my time into the family business during the day and then at night and on weekends I would do the films that I want to do and the ones that are my films instead of working on other people's films and instead of trying to be like uh, you know getting paid to be a grip or somebody that works way way behind the scenes which so it was gotta... um so it was more about what you were doing in your own time as opposed to what was learned at school and through whatever little jobs to do with the industry and so is yeah. it, you did a yeah, lot exactly. in your own time yeah I, I decided that you know okay i'm gonna i'm gonna take the pressure of life off of me in terms of a, a job during the day and i'm gonna work for the business my family business and then i'm gonna really push forward on my free time to do the films that i want to do like a passion thing and that's what led me to music videos because i love music and they're not that long and sure, they're feasible sure, yeah. to make in, in a short period of time. Um, so then I started working with local bands and here in Calgary. I would just go to shows and I would approach them after the show and I'd you know, say, you know, I'm a filmmaker, I want to make this video with you guys. And I would help them arrange for, um, you know, for them to raise money through you know, shows or whatever to put into the video. And I've done like, you know, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 music videos over the last five, six years or so. And um, that led me to not only getting a little bit better at what I do, but it led me to Divinity, which is a heavy metal band here in town. I don't know if you heard of them, but Divinity are huge control denied death fans, like all, all five of these guys, right? And I did two music videos for them, one called Plasma and the other one called Lay in the Bed You Made. And the Lay in the Bed You Made video was about, it's about a year old now, I think. And right around that time, the band uh, Divinity heard that Eric was back in town or he lived here and they knew his involvement with with death and control denied so they contacted eric and asked if they could meet with him for advice and you know to talk about their future as a band and eric uh saw my, my video that i did lay in the bed you made and he asked uh hey who, who are you working with who did this video it's really good and they said oh doug and he's like i want to meet him <laughs> so I met eric and you know eric being uh, an entrepreneur 
and um, also you know a, a businessman and also an artist you know saw an opportunity with me uh, that I've already worked with the band and they could vouch for me you know with divinity they you know we had a good reputation together or a good relationship and uh, it kind of just kicked off there Eric was like let's do this and uh, that's how I ended up where I am now so I've kind of just gone through basically just making many music videos as I possibly can because the ones I want to do are the ones that I really want to do and I'm not doing them to make money to you know build my own business I'm doing them because I want to get better at what I do and I like I love making music videos and it's it's something that drives me so I mean one day if I could be a full-time music video director and getting paid for it then I'm gonna be a very very happy man <laughs> And it feels like it's going that way, but it, you know things take time, and um, I'm a patient guy, so I'm looking forward to doing some more, and I'm hoping Eric will throw some more stuff at me, and we'll see where that goes. Well, this is this is all something to uh, to come in a little bit, but uh, so I figure we could perhaps throw on a few samples of uh, some of these videos. I mean, you say plasma and lay in the bed right. you made. Um, any others yep. that you'd really like to sort of share with the world, sure. or? that you particularly yeah, like, you know, from other bands? Yeah, well, I mean, actually, it's funny. I have a, um, I have a video coming out tomorrow. Oh, okay. It's called, uh, it's called The Prey, and it's by a local Calgary band called Truck. And <laughs> uh, it's actually premiering tomorrow. I, I think uh, the guys are going to, the truck, the band Truck is going to release the, uh, the link to the video. But again, that kind of came through ever since I've done uh, Divinity's videos and ever since I've taken on the uh, Breaking the Broken, my, my name's got out there <laughs> and people are contacting me now. So that's a good thing is I have bands actually, you know, emailing me and going to my website and watching the videos and asking for my help. Um, and in the past, I was always the ones like going to the shows and trying to find the band that would be willing to do it. But now it's reversed. I'm, I've got like three or four bands that are... Um, on me that wanted to make a video and it just feels that it's heading more in that direction so so which is, uh, which is good so which at the minute there. it isn't quite um full-time music videos for you you're not able to quite do that just yet <clears throat> well I, actually right the last i would say since the new year it could be it could be but i'm doing two jobs basically i mean i'm working during the day for my family business and then I the come furniture home. yeah interior design yeah sure furniture. sure sure yeah so, and then I come home and it's like, you know, um, I'm editing or I'm, I'm storyboarding or I'm planning a shoot. So, I mean, if I if I took my day job out right now, I could be doing music videos full time because that's how much time I'm spending on them. Sure, but sure. In the film, in any art of artistic, um, you know, music video or photography and stuff, you know, there's ups and downs and slow points and stuff. So, um, but right now, yeah, I'm with Breaking the Broken and a couple other ones. Uh, Eric's asked me to do a music video for a band called Morda Skull. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they're part of Relapse. Sure, yeah. And we're shooting that, um, I'm shooting that next weekend. So, I mean, I'm gonna have, I have like three videos going on right now overlapping each other. <laughs> so you're, which a is cool, you're a busy but dude it's super then. Busy. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm loving it, man. It's uh, not enough sleep, but it's awesome. I mean, I'm, this is this is what I've always been wanting to do. So, I mean, I'm how old are complain. you now, Doug? You must be about what, 25, some, 26? No, I'm 35. 